nutrition to detox estrogen dominance. Uh, choline and taurine will help, and it's also calcium D. What is it called? Hold on. Deglutarate. That's what it's called. You know, obviously, you know, keep the diet clean. Um, also, to normalize to normalize hormones, you can do the the boron. So three, 12 milligrams for one week, for one week, nine milligrams for the second week, six milligrams for the third week, and the fourth week, three milligrams, and stick to three milligrams. That's the equivalent of two avocados. Three milligrams, no more. And you do that right through for three months and that should normalize some of those hormones then this supplement here will prevent reabsorption and your gallbladder is the key thing that actually helps with excreting out the stuff now you need taurine and you need choline to get that to work properly so you know i don't know what your gallbladder is in uh, what sort of state you'd have to check You'd have to do an ultrasound to find out exactly at what state it is. Once you know, then you can then you can proceed um, from there. So these these are all questions, you know, questions. Hmm, what are my genetics like? So there's a lot of things. Um, you know, why am I getting anemia? Like the previous person who asked me about the young lady anemia, and I should have mentioned that as well. I'll mention it here. Um, there could be a situation where they're getting a bit too much folate in and they're actually bleeding through their B12, which is one possibility, or they're not getting enough folate, or they're getting enough folate, but they're bleeding through the folate for other reasons. For the purpose of methylation because they've got a methylation problem like genetics like i have well there's where you need choline because choline is interchangeable so the methionine cycle will go from methionine to sammy all the way through it can to homocysteine back to one of the arms which is the folate you know the the, the sort of uh, the folate cycle or folate B12 cycle. And they can actually, as a methyl donor, or, or at the other end, right through, to, um, choline can come right through and beat and be converted to betaine and betaine can convert homocysteine directly, sparing both B12 and folate. So, so getting enough choline in the diet can be critical to spare folate and B12. And most people, when, I, when they supplement with choline, their B12 and folate levels go back to normal, get sorted completely. So that's for that other person who asked me earlier, um, just to be complete. But pretty much, you know, it can be like, Clearing out excess um, estrogen can also be an MTHFR issue, a methylation issue. So choline can help there, but also can help with improving the bile flow. So together with taurine, um, they work synergistically. By exporting fat out and removing the, the amount of, um, so you don't have to, you know, you're exporting more of that cholesterol fat out of the liver with choline, well, then you're going to get better emulsification in your, in your gallbladder and the gallbladder is going to work better. That's why carnivore diet, a species appropriate diet, the organs work better for those reasons because they get the nutrients that are required to export these things out. Um, so if you want to learn more about choline and sources, eggs are the best source for choline. You know, per one egg, it's one, what is it, 146.7, I think. I may be wrong. Let me just go down here. 
I'll just put it in there. Oops. So that is a link to a channel that has all the different foods. Ah, 0.9. I was wrong. 1.46.9. I keep on saying seven for some bloody reason. Milligrams. Anyway, can't be perfect all the time. So, yeah. So, and that other one, that uh, um, calcium D um, glutarate, that actually prevents that reabsorption and actually clears out and actually helps clear out estrogen itself as well within the body. So it actually lowers it. Um, boron also helps. But you can get boron supplements anywhere for three milligrams. Get about three milligram doses so you can then adjust your doses. There's plenty of brands out there. They're pretty much all the same. It's a mineral. Um, as long as they do, just always make sure that it doesn't have too many fillers or crap like that, that it's very little other stuff. Um, in supplements, that's usually a better supplement. And I've got a truck doing a backup outside my window. Fan bloody tastic. <laughs> 